What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today I want to show you a little project that I've been working on. This essentially came from a problem or something that's been annoying me a little bit which is I usually carry my iPhone in my front pocket or my back pocket when I'm walking around or I'm doing something but when I get into the car I don't like it in my back pocket because I'm sitting on it and I don't like it in my front pocket because it's just too bulky but if I've got another bag or something you know next to me or a person sitting next to me I don't want to put it on the seat. If I put it in the cup holder then it ends up being jostled around sometimes it falls out of the cup holder so I wanted to find a way to secure my phone uh, in the car but not having to keep it in my pockets. So what I'm going to show you here is how I use the belt clip kind of jerry-rigged it and set it up so that I can now attach my phone to the belt clip and then it is secured to the dashboard. So let me show you how I did that. So obviously what you're looking at here is my iPhone and it's in the OtterBox belt clip. So when I pop it out of this, it just looks like the belt clip here on the front, but on the back, what I've done is this. I basically took, took a small piece of wood and then I wrapped some webbing around the, uh, the belt clip portion of it. Now, uh, if I go like this, it doesn't matter because this is so tight that I can't really slide that off. I did set it up like this though, that if I wanna use the belt clip and kind of get rid of this system, I can just cut this free, the actual webbing free, and then I've got the belt clip back. So it is semi-committed to this, but not completely. I've got a very small piece of wood here, so the webbing goes around the clip and then around the wood. I've got it stapled into place, and then I just put some Velcro on the back side here. Now, once you have this little setup, which is very simple to make, again, some webbing around the clip and then around the wood, stapled into place, and then some Velcro here, then what I'm going to do, or show you, I guess I should say, is I've got another piece of Velcro which fits onto the backing here and then when I peel this off you can see that this will stick on my dashboard. So now I can have the phone in the clip and attached to my dashboard but I can still take it out once I get to the office or once I get to a location when I want to get out and uh, walk around just put the phone back into my pocket. So let me show you what this looks like all set up and uh, maybe this will be a helpful tip to you on how to secure your phone when you're traveling in the car and not have to have it in your pocket and also not being jostled around in a cup holder on the seat next to you, whatever it might be. Here's the dash with the two pieces of Velcro. Obviously a piece on the flat portion here and then a piece on the vertical portion here if I wanna use my GPS, for example, while I'm driving. And then to actually set it up, easy enough to do. Put on there and that'll stay in place. It does take a little bit of tugging to get off. And then if I wanna set it up on this portion here, let me just line that up real quick. It goes like that. And now that'll sit there so I can uh, use the GPS while I'm, uh, while I'm driving. Since there is a bend in the dash here, it's, uh, it's not completely flat. Um, the back of the Velcro is not resting flat against the portion that is taped to this. So we'll see how that holds up. I'll try it out for a while and see if it stays in place. It does feel quite solid. I mean, there's a little bit of movement there, but both on this portion and on this portion, it seems to rest quite firmly. So I'm not too concerned about it. There you have it. That's a way to repurpose your OtterBox belt clip if you're not using it for anything. And I'll give you an update if there's any issues or if it ends up working out great, I'll let you know.